hello everyone welcome back to my channel just a little bit uh, to let you know what i've been doing um, lately i showed you a little while ago um about some um, old machine knitting yarn that i had like this sort of stuff this is like um, what i call a silky silky one and i've also got some white and oh, i've got other little bits and pieces of um, this but this is what I've been using with it. I've been using um, three strands of these silky ones because it's like thread. If you can see it on there. If you can imagine um, using that to sew with, that's what the equivalent would be like. So I've been using three strands of those and one strand of this. It's, um, it's like a wrinkled silky yarn with it. it's got little knots here there's a little knot there i don't know whether you can see them so i've been just wondering what i could do with these and i've also got some smaller pieces there's a bit of that's a um like a deep yellow like a emma butter and pink and a bit turquoise i've also got some other bits as well um i haven't got them all down here but uh i've been working with some of these and i've decided not knowing what to do with them probably dish cloths and face cloths the best thing thing that i can do so i've made one dish cloth it's just um, double crochet, that's all, and it's big enough for, for me to um, wash dishes with. That's one I've made. And I'm in the middle of it. Um, I'm using this. Not much left on here, so I'll not get much more of this, this one done. I'm just doing what I can with it. This is a white and um, a bit of uh, lemon. This is where I've done the, um, the runner on my little sideboard with, and that's what, that's what I had left of the... Um, the yellow well i've been doing this and i've decided to make this um just a face cloth if i'd made it a little bit not quite as wide i might got a bit more height out of it but uh, i wanted it about 12 inches when i made it so i'm only going to go as far as what's on that on those cones and then instead of being a square it'll be a long face cloth and it's quite an easy pattern i don't know if you can see it it's just um, single crochet, but I'll do a, um, a close up and show um, how I do this pattern because it's a nice, easy and quick pattern for um, doing on um, things like this, face cloths. That's just something to let you know what I'm doing and using up um, what I didn't know what to use up these little bits because they weren't much use for anything else and they're not sort of things you can make coasters and that with them um, because of the the way you have to um have to use them because the um the hoop keeps splitting the, the thing so it's easier just to do a straight square and that i'm trying to do nothing else um fancy with so i'll do a close-up of this the crochet what i'm doing of this um this face cloth and uh, show you how how i'm doing it So this was how I did this. Um, I just started off with about um, 42 for this one, about 40, 42 stitches or 42 chain. And it's just uh, the same single repeat row. And it's just a chain or your first chain. You start with your first chain. And as you can see, this yarn's all split in, into little pieces, so I have to be careful when I'm uh, crocheting with it. Sometimes the hoop goes through the, uh, the different strands. But it's just single crochet, and you go into the space. You miss, miss the first chain and go into the next space. And then you just single crochet twice into that space.
and then you do one chain and you look for the next space you miss miss the other ones look for the next space go into the next space and do two crochets single crochets into that space again and then you do one chain and then you find the next space again two single crochets into that space And then it's one chain and you have to remember all you seasoned crochets you probably be holding the yarn in um, in this hand but I do it in the same hand as the hook that's the way I was taught and <laughs> that comes easiest to me and that's all you do all the way along the row is you look for the space and you do two single crochet into that space and then one chain into the next space do a single crochet one chain and that's all you do all the way along that that row and that's every row that's what you do when you first start off with your chain with your chain um you miss the first chain as normal because that's um you know that's how you do the um the chains i had done done 43 chain but it was 42 because you missed the first chain and then I missed the second chain and then done two crochet into the next chain. Missed the next chain and done two crochet. So it's every alternate chain stitch I was doing two crochet in. Two single crochet in. And that's all you do all the way up the, um, the pattern. And that's how it, you see how it comes out. And it's a nice pattern. It's not just um, handy for um, for for face cloths you can do it for garments whatever um you want to do so if you like my little video give it a thumbs up and subscribe and i'll show you what else i get done with those bits of yarn that i'm working with so bye for now